Hello everyone, my name is Ryan. Some of you know me as John Dole, right here in Japan. Now, TEPCO has admitted that between 20 and 40 trillion BQ of tritium has very likely flowed right into the Pacific Ocean from Fukushima MPP. Now, the agent, the company, excuse me, still does not know where the leak is coming from. Now, because of this, the utility has assumed that this started in May of 2011, following their attempts to stop the radioactive toxic water leak, which they first discovered in April of 2011. Now, they reported this to the Nuclear Regulatory Agency here in Japan, voluntarily, apparently. Which I find very, very strange that all this time this was going on, the Nuclear Regulatory Agency in Japan never noticed this, never found this um, clearly. The Regulatory Agency was not checking the water in the Pacific, were not doing proper monitoring, and if they were monitoring it, somehow they didn't see this or they did, did not report this which brings up a more interesting point about this situation now this reformed nuclear regulatory agency here in Japan from day one they promised to be completely transparent and independent from all other sectors of the government and the private sector but this really brings this into question for me this is a massive amount of tritium radiation flowing into the ocean through contaminated water. And if you have a regulatory agency who's supposed to be watching this stuff, you would guess that they, have, they would have found this by now, would have discovered this, or at least would have noticed that something's wrong. But no reports came from the regulatory agency about um, tritium poisoning. In the, in the Pacific Ocean, coming from Fukushima. So, to my mind, as logic would dictate here, the regulatory agency was not checking for this. Clearly, they have not been monitoring the water surrounding Fukushima M MPP. And they have not been monitoring properly the ocean close to Fukushima MPP. It appears to me that TEPCO has been the one reporting everything to them instead of them keeping tabs on TEPCO. So do we have the exact same situation we had in the past, Japan? Do we have the old situation where the nuclear industry was basically in control of the regulatory body? Because it sure does seem that way. It sure does seem that way. And also, the only cure for this ongoing radioactive leaking problem that TEPCO keeps offering is dump it in the ocean. All their efforts that they're cornered into doing, they screw up, they do it half-ass, and you have more problems. And they turn right back around saying, well, let's dump it. But dumping it makes things worse. And this level of corporate greed, which is often called incompetence, this time it's beyond what I've seen so far. This is way, way, way out of line. This is really bad. But at least now, everyone knows what we've been suspected for a long time now. The ocean is being poisoned by TEPCO and the little monster, Fukushima Nuclear Power Plant.